Hey guys, welcome to a new lesson of FetterMedSchool.com's free IELTS course. Today we are going to touch our three out of seven critical thinking skills you have to develop in order to pass the IELTS successfully. So today we are going to touch flaws and identifying the flaws inside the paragraph. Usually we'll have a short paragraph that actually have a very straightforward conclusion, and you will need to find and use two steps usually for those kind of questions in order to actually find and recognize something inside the answers that actually gives you the flow and if it's true gives you the flow so I'm going to show you the question on the screen now and you are going to actually try and solve it by yourself please don't check if you were correct we are going to solve it together and then you will see if you were correct so please pause the video now great now I'm going to give you my two steps to actually solve those kind of questions. So first of all, we have to find, like always, we have to mark a conclusion inside the following paragraph. So, some disabled people find it difficult to gain access to some of our older people buildings because the entrance have steps. Okay, this is the problem. You recognize the problem inside the following paragraph. Usually, the writer of the paragraph will give a solution to something and we it probably and most of the times will be our actual conclusion so let's keep going the problem is most often the problem is most often solved by installing ramps all and this is our conclusion all public buildings must first of all when you see the word must or some word similar to the word must it has to light a bulb inside your brain and to actually you have to it probably going to give us our conclusion especially when you have a problem and a solution usually the paragraph the writer paragraph gives you a solution to something he is complaining about so all public buildings must have accessible to everyone therefore we have another bulb lighting <laughs> type of word they must all install ramps so we have a conclusion, we have a solution, and we have a solution to the problem. The solution is always your actual conclusion to the problem, especially in those short paragraphs. So step one, find and mark the conclusion. We did it. Nice. Let's go to step two, which is when you have a flow, identify the flow, you are going to take each statement from the answer, and you are actually going to attack the conclusion. What do I mean by attack? To ask yourself if the answer is correct, does it weaken the actual conclusion we've just found? So let's try to do it. Disabled people must have accessible to all buildings, not just public ones, so all buildings should have ramps. Was anyone talking about other buildings? Our conclusion is about public buildings. So let's continue. Installing ramps in Installing ramps in all public buildings will be extremely expensive. Like previous lesson, like our previous lesson, we asked ourselves, does it appear inside the text? If no one talks about it inside the text, just ignore it. They want to confuse you with something that makes sense, but if it doesn't appear inside the paragraph, you have to dismiss it. It is unreasonable to suggest that disabled people should be able to access all public buildings. It seems just stood and you need to face the fact that the entire paragraph is based on the fact that the writer wants to help disabled people, not to take more stuff from them. Okay, some older public buildings without ramps may be accessible to disabled people. Okay, let's take it and try to attack with it the conclusion. If it's correct, if we have actual buildings that have access, gives you access, and give access to the disabled people. It means you shouldn't install ramps in all the public buildings because some of them are already accessible. Make sure to find and read the conclusion several times before you actually try to attack it because the word all in this specific paragraph, inside this specific paragraph makes the entire sense 
because without it, if we were talking about some public buildings must be accessible to everyone, therefore some must install ramps. We couldn't attack the actual statement, the actual conclusion, if they weren't talking about all of the buildings. Because our conclusion is all public buildings must be accessible and all, everyone should install ramps, it doesn't make sense, we can attack it because it doesn't make sense to install ramps because some of them already have access. So some of them shouldn't be, some of them shouldn't get ramps. So not all of the buildings, public buildings, buildings should get ramps. And this is the way to actually use those two steps and to actually use the answer and to attack the following paragraph paragraph's conclusion. You have to attack it and see if it weakens the actual conclusion. And if it does, you have your answer. Thank you so much for joining me. Next video, we are going to talk about the new critical thinking skills. So make sure to join me and to press subscribe. See you in the next video.